Right, we're down the side of the clubhouse now, and we've got uh, three interesting-looking vehicles here, Mini Scamps, and uh, we've got Chris, who's part of the club here. He's going to tell us all about them. Hi, Chris. Hello. Yeah. Hi, so this is uh, the Scamp Club, The Scamp I Owners guess. Club, yeah. So tell us a bit about the club. There's about 70 people in the club, um, and they're all over the country. Uh, big hub is in the Midlands, but there's a few of us down this way. We've got a, a meeting over Easter down at Hailing, so there'd be a few of us down there. So Okay. So, I mean, we've got three cars here today. How many do you normally get on a nice day? On a nice day, well, we have a, an annual get-together called the Scamp Picnic in Stourport. Uh, we've, we, last year we had 28. 20, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah very good. Yeah, yeah, it can't be that many left, I wouldn't think. Um, they keep coming out of the woodwork. You keep co seeing them coming up on eBay and places like that. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we like to s see the ones that have been revived. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I guess they're all slightly different, aren't they? Yeah, this is a Mark Just looking one. looking at them. So, I mean, the Scamp is obviously mini-based. Mini-based kit car made by a chap locally at um, um, Ottershaw. Okay. Uh, called Robert Mandry. Yeah. Uh, the, this is a Mark One. Some of the Mark Two frames were actually built at Brooklands in an engineering shop. Um, this is the Mark Three with the progression for the Mark Two is the Mark Three, um, okay. made by uh, Andrew McLean. When right. So uh, this one it appears. So yours is a Mark One. one. This appears. And this is a, an Ottershaw made one. This would be an Ottershaw made yeah. one. And this was a demonstrator for the Scamp Motor Company. All right, which okay. Was, um, this one appeared in Custom Car Magazine in 1971. Ah, okay. And then we redid the shot in 2011, 40 years afterwards. Yeah. And we redid the whole shot. Oh, right. <laughs> so, so, yeah. But that, that was a nice little escapade there. Yeah, it was. It was cracking. It was. Yeah. Uh, Where was the photo shoot? The photo, photo shoot was a little bit each, just at the end of the M23, where the M23 becomes the A23. Um, there's a little village just off, off there somewhere. So. Right, and that was yeah. the same location yeah, as yeah. the 71 yeah, yeah. shoot. Yeah, yeah. I have pictures. Oh, you've got some pictures in there, have you? Yeah. You've got quite a few. Ah, yeah, well, there we go, look. That was the 71 uh, <laughs> custom car <laughs> magazine. And then we, we redid then the redid shot. redid it again. Oh, my goodness. Uh, in 2011. Mm. Wow. Well, there we nice, go. Isn't it? Nice. Yeah. yeah. So a few changes there. A few changes, Dif yeah. Different seats I can see yeah, we've got yeah. here. Well, yes. Not too much, is not it? Too Otherwise, much, the guy's no. pretty much the same. Yeah. Yeah, we've uh, we've got a, a, a taller windscreen. Yeah. Because uh, of my height. <laughs> right, okay. Um, different headlights, obviously, there. I've gone back to chrome now, so yeah. they were in the original. But uh, no, so, it's all there. Yeah. Well, what are these like to actually drive? Well, this one's... They look a bit open. <laughs> yeah, well, this one's been to Italy four times. Yeah. Um, so, what, two people in it? or? or just yeah, two, two of us, yeah. Two um, people and luggage. And luggage, yeah. Um, it was, it, we've, a friend of ours, a member of the owners club, used to be... Uh, he takes teams of minis down to see the Italian job film sites. Oh, right, OK, yeah. And I've helped him a few times, and we've taken it down there. So it's been up La Paradiso National Park. Yeah. And um, the Bern St Bernard Pass. Right, and, uh, yeah. it's been around. Oh, yes, it has, yeah, it's been Excellent. a long way. Do yeah. you feel a bit exposed in them? Uh, when you've got, so big, the trucks motorway, the, when you've got big trucks next to you, Trying chucking their exhaust, yes. Yeah. But no, it's, it's, yeah, it's just great fun. In the summer, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, well. <laughs> Good off. <laughs> looking yeah. at a grey day here today. And not yeah, well, quite we, great, I we've guess. managed to aquaplane ourselves around the M25 yeah, today. Well, that's so. fun, I should imagine. <laughs> so, okay, so, yeah. right, this is a Mark One. This that's is a Mark, a Mark, Mark three. 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 These are both Mark They're threes. They're both Mark threes, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, so the transition the on the Mark. Then, different front end, obviously. Yeah, well, they're still mini base. Yeah. Um, the transition with the Mark II was that they got rid of the back soft frame. Okay. They put the suspension components it directly into the frame. These with the Mark III they continued that. Yeah. So there is no back soft frame on the Mark IIs okay. or the Mark III's, right. but it still maintains all the suspension system. You know, with the trumpets and the um, 
the wishbones at the back. So. Okay, right. They look big as well. They look yeah, well, they, these are on 13-inch wheels. This is on 12-inch oh, wheels. Oh, yeah. yeah right. um, but, uh, yeah, this one's come from Wales, today. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Blimey. So, so was that it then, the Mark III? There was no, no nothing there, after that? No, there was a progression after that because of the uh, legislation. Um, <laughs> he got around legislation by rebodied Jeeps. So Suzuki Jeeps, Daihatsu Jeeps, making new bodies for them. Right. So you had the Mark IV by IV. Okay. Which was not mini-based. Not mini-based. No, it's Suzuki, Suzuki Jeep based. Suzuki or Daihatsu based. But, uh, right, so these were the last of the mini base last of the ones. mini base ones mm -hmm. yeah um, he did actually do a Renault Clio base one as well oh, right, okay. so but that was a one off yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, either he did one metro base one as well which my friend has as well so but uh, no they're they're, uh, they're very resilient yeah and there yeah, was about three that. about three and a half thousand kits totally built right over the years um, so yeah, and a few left now. Belonging, and belonging locally built as well, which is nice to actually yes. have a locally built vehicle, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, down at Brooklands today because yeah. Ottershaw is, well, oh, what three miles up the road, I guess. Yes, yeah, must yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, fantastic, great. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing us around okay. these camps today. All right, thank you.